And hello there everyone, welcome to Tin Can. You've barely managed to escape your exploding spaceship and now you're in an old escape pod. You hurtle through space at the mercy of the cosmos with no knowledge of the pod's complex systems. Your life depends on a technical manual and your own wits. How long can you survive? All right, so I'm coming in clean. I'm coming in completely unaware what the game is about. I have not watched anybody else play it. And as you can see here, my best time so far is still at zero because I've not played it at all. Now, this may game is meant to be an immersive and faithful space survival experience. Tin Cam will require patience, practice, which we don't have, which we didn't do, and a lot of deaths, for sure we can count on that, for you to slowly understand the complexity of your escape pod and its systems. Taking some time to read your pod technical manual is obviously highly recommended. <laughs> yeah, sure. And uh, uh, everything here is simulated down to every single individual component. Everything reacts organically to the events you will encounter and your own decisions. In your old rusty pot, the tech support cannot hear you scream. However, if you're feeling a bit lonely out there, feel free to join our community. All right, so... um. Aim for the longest survival, sandbox, have a stroll in the pod and play with its systems. The only thing that can kill you here is yourself. Learn the fundamentals of Tin Can before exploring the pod further on your own. Move and interact. I think we're just going to start with that. Hey, Jerry. Uh, can you hear me? Could you do me a favor? I was supposed to do the maintenance of one of our old Medusa escape pod, but I'm stuck in the engine room fixing our damn reactor. Could you leave your cleaning trolley for a minute and uh, help me out? Just Seriously, I'm the janitor. The you can't miss it. You're right next to it. Okay, so we need to go and get in here. I'm the janitor, as in seriously. So we're going to be a janitor who this is... This is a piece of junk, not worth any maintenance, but I don't make the rules. Anyway, I was supposed to reassemble the oxygen system. Could you do it for me? It's pretty straightforward. Could you locate the oxygen system and open it? Uh, you should see three drawers against the wall. It's the top one. All right, uh, F to yep. open and close. The one. As you can see, it's empty. All the components are behind you on the workbench. Just grab a couple so we can get started. Use the left click to grab left hand, right click for the right hand. Okay, that's pretty useful. Um, we'll take a fuse Just and a battery. Put the components back inside the oxygen system. Uh, you can't get it wrong. They all only fit in their respective spots. Um, I'll be right back. Oi. I'm pretty sure something just dropped. Uh, tin cans? Any tin cans in here? No, okay, so you just yeet shit on the floor. Um, Alright, that's going to be a quack. You just yeet it on the floor if you don't need it. All right. Now, can I pick it up again? Yes, I can. All right. Anything that needs to go there. Large battery. There we go. There, the power transformer. Data connector. You might, might be useful. There you go. Okay, are we done already? And a buzzer. Get a buzzer in there. All right, is that it? Or, oh, there's an on and off button. Maybe, Einstein. Jerry, uh, you should be done by now. Just turn the oxygen system on using the on-off switch. Perfect. Um, now, as you can see, the oxygen bottle inside the system is empty. Could you swap it with the oxygen bottle located in the recycling station? Recycling station? Ah. That's the one. Uh, the recycling station converts carbon dioxide into oxygen. Pretty useful, eh? Oh, yeah, that's anyway, actually pretty just, good. Uh, replace the empty bottle with this full. All right, we're done. Thank you, Jerry. Uh, you can go back to your cleaning trolley. Wait, damn it. Are you still there? I'm detecting a leak in the pod. You might have to climb a bit. Uh, you can grab a handle with your free hand to get closer. Well done. I'm not detecting any leak anymore. Uh, we're all good. Thanks for your help. 
Anyway, I gotta go. This damn reactor is driving me crazy. Now, where were you coming from? Oh, that's it. All right. Okay, so that is good. We know that. The vital needs. Let's have a look. What do we need for here? So we're the janitor. Okay. We now know how to fix Can that you thing. Hear me? Sorry to bother you again, but I'm stuck in the ship's engine room. We're going to check to see if the life support systems of the pod are working properly. I'm going to need you to turn them on one by one so we can check their values on their monitor. First, All right. let's make sure that we have what we need. So on Earth, at sea level, the atmospheric pressure is one bar and the oxygen level is around 20%. That's our target. As you can see, we're all good here, and the value is green. But if the value turns red and drops below 16%, you'll find yourself in hypoxia. It's not a good thing, as you can imagine. The opposite is also true. Too much oxygen can also be deadly, so always keep an eye on these values. All right, we're all good. So, the pump inside the oxygen system diffuses the oxygen contained inside an O2 bottle into the air. Good. You have to be aware that too much CO2 in the air is just as deadly as not having enough oxygen. Your body breathes O2 in and exhales CO2. The value should never rise above 6% at one bar. So this system is here to maintain the atmospheric pressure at one bar by releasing or capturing nitrogen in the air. The pod cannot sustain more than 1.7 bar, so be careful with too high pressures. It's also important to remember that the required oxygen levels and the lethal levels of CO2 vary depending on pressure. So we just need to keep it at uh, one bar. All right, we're good for the atmospheric systems. Now let's turn the temperature system on. It, you know, space is cold, but there is nothing there to efficiently transfer heat. I mean, sure, without heating you'll eventually freeze to death, but in a pod like this one, equipped with a hot atomic pile, you need some way to stay cool if you don't want to be cooked. The temperature system uses power to produce heat and liquid nitrogen to cool the air. I can tell you that cooling the air is very important when you're running the atomic pile at full power. All right, you should be feeling warmer now. Uh, everything looks to be in order. Thanks for your help. You can go back to your work. And I have my own work to do to make sure our ship's reactor doesn't cook us all in the next few hours. See ya. All right, so that's that. So now we at least know how to read all of it. Now, we're going to give it a double go, probably. Let's give two try, depending on how well it goes, actually. Hey, Jerry. Uh, but it's me again. I'm not very hopeful. I need your help with the pod. Again. So, I was it. So, I'm going to cut the external power connection so we can test the new atomic pile. It's going to get dark in here, but don't worry. We'll bring life back to that old 10K. All right? All right. I need you to find the main reactor. It's located on the ceiling above the gravity generator. I need you to open it. Yep, you got it. Uh, now just turn it on, all right? Perfect. All right, there we go. You shouldn't see much of a difference right away. It takes a moment for the atomic pile to warm up. The hotter it gets, the more power it produces. Do you see the ammeter below the generator? Uh, no, because I closed so it again. The red needle indicates the energy produced by the pile, and the blue one indicates how much energy the active systems need to function. As you can see, it's above the red one. It means that the pile is currently not warm enough to produce all the required energy. All right, how do we fix now, that? I'm going to remotely lock the pile temperature for some tests, but in normal circumstances, it's the processor plugged into the main generator that controls this temperature to provide the required amount of power. I guess I don't need to tell you what happens when it breaks down, huh? Well, no, it cooks if it breaks down, but where is the main processor? This is the main computer. Well, at least I can turn on the main logic systems. Ah, that's where the leak filler was. Battery storage, display storage. Ah, so we've got a couple of spare displays. 
or we have where we're supposed to have the spare displace where there's none in there hydraulics okay so basically all the spare parts were cooked we don't have anything oh Damn yeah it. i've locked the temperature too soon and there isn't enough power could you could you turn other systems off so we can save enough power to turn the main computer back on just keep an eye on the needles you need to align them yeah that's great let's figure it out um like that yeah we're getting there we're getting there ah we don't need oxygen it's okay who said we needed oxygen all right and what else do we have on okay you off that should do the trick still not is there anything else left on besides you now we have no power you're genius Is there anything on? Perfect. I'm getting the data. Thank you. Oh. Yeah, you're welcome. If you ever have to operate an atomic pile, keep in mind that it's slow, capricious, and that it can get very, very hot. So uh, always make sure to protect your systems with a fuse and a transformer in case of overload. Perfect. Anyway, it seems the new atomic pile is working fine. So that's it for me. And you can get back to your cleaning. All right. Thank you very much. I think I learned something. Failures in diagnostics. Oh, boy. Here we go. All right. Let's get um, to the last step here. And let's try and if we can figure out what's hey, going Jerry. on. I know. I know. This is the last time. I swear. Just get back inside the pod. There is a... Thanks again, man. You have no idea how much work it is to keep this escape pod in working order. Well, we better learn Honestly, and we learn fast. I would rather die than have to escape in this thing, even after... Anyway, the oxygen system has a problem and I need you to check the error codes channel on its monitor. All right. Perfect. You should have the error list in front of you. Main, the main computer is computer offline. Usually translates the codes, but I had to take it offline for a while. You sausage. I need you to find the pod operation manual. Everything you need to know about the pod is in it. So unfortunately, I can't really help you from here. So I'll let you browse the manual to find what the error codes mean. I'll let you grab the defective component once you figure out which one it is. Okay, zero oh, B E A. Uh, do not forget to turn the system off before touching anything. All right. Yeah, that's okay. Zero B E A. Bad electric. Uh, page thirty one. Zero B E A. Bad power trans. The power transformer is damaged. All right, that's okay. Can we eat you away? Sure. Um, where are you? Okay, let's flip you off. Let's open you. What is the power transformer? There. Yeah, we I had a feeling this transformer wasn't working properly. I need you to use the repair station to fix it. Put the transformer inside it and it will tell you how many spur pump. Do you see the numbers on the repair station? So the top screen indicates how many spare parts are required to fix the components and the bottom one, how many you currently have. So we don't have enough. We need to dismantle something else to get more spare parts. All right, so let's dismantle a component we don't need. I think I left a monitor on the workbench. Uh, put it inside the repair station, close the door and press the dismantle button. Well done. You now have enough spare parts to fix the transformer. You can throw the monitor away. It's dead now anyway. Just put the transformer inside the repair station and press repair. Yeah, now I need to find that thing. There you go. It's there. We go in there. We close you. Repair in progress. So basically because it's not restocked, we're going to end up having to take all the other parts apart. You can now put the transformer back inside the oxygen system. Uh, make sure it's turned off first. All right. Once you're done, you can turn it back. Well done. 
you're really doing me a favor, so thank you. Uh, you can get back to your cleaning trolley, and I'm going to get back to work because this damn reactor is driving me mad. Oh yeah, great. Jerry, the ship's cooling system just failed. Warning. The reactor, it's reactor going to blow. You need to grab as many components as you can in the storage rooms and evacuate right now. No matter Warning. what you do, do reactor not leave aboard that damn... Evacuate to the nearest escape pod immediately. Yeah, but I cannot grab anything. I wanted to, I tried. All right, let's just give it a shot. Let's go. Let's see how far we can get. My guess is about four minutes. All right, so my aim is four minutes. All right. I mean, at least we saw quite a bit, so this one is okay-ish. Um, maintain the right or left click pressed while aiming at the nearby handle to move around in the OG. Left shift or left control, up and down. All right, fair enough. Okay, let's have a look. Um, we do not have anything to repair. Asteroid field detected, collision imminent. All right, let's hold on ourselves. I don't even know what we can do about that. Is there anything we can? Or we're just sitting here waiting. Do I have a window I can peek out of? I do. I mean, you claim that there's asteroid field coming in. I don't even know where. Yep, I don't see any. No errors. All the systems are online and we're looking good. Look at that. All right, so we're good on that side. Oh. I think I'm beginning to realize what we were uh, running into. Well, oopsie. I mean, it's not really like I do anything about it. Okay, so... Oxygen is... Oh yeah, great. I think the error list is just too big, but... Well, that can't be good. That definitely cannot be good. No errors on you. There's no errors here. Okay, so you're bumping a little bit up and down. But other than that, we're actually not looking too bad. He says that something has to start failing soon. What? Where is it? Okay, is this thing going to be uh, over soon anytime? Because I still don't see anything here. Here it still tells me that everything is online. Although I highly doubt that this is going to be a good thing. You're still fine. You're still fine. No errors on you. Nothing on you. You are all fine. Uh, there we go. Okay. So that was that part done. Do you have any errors? Bad... There's a lot of A's on there, bad the bad data. Well I think that is fair enough, but bad buzz. Damn bad. Okay, but for where? For where? Breathability we are okay. So it's gotta be something in here. Um main generator, page eight. Or do we find it here in the codes? Bad bus, page 32. Okay, what can we do about you? 
Causes probable consequences. Damage buzzer. All right. But let's turn you off then. That's the atomic pile. That's the another atomic shield. I see no buzzer in there. So if you do not have a buzzer, the on and off button, capacity diffuse transformer. High fuse connector, data connector. You might actually be broken as well. Um, All right, let's have a look. Uh, we drop you batteries, electrical storage. There's just a fuse in there. It's yes, yes, yes. Um, empty cam, low pump. Oh yeah, it did tell us to turn it off first, right? All right, um, let's just push you back on. All right, do you have anything else that you're complaining about? 2-N-O-A. Oh boy. On battery, but high CO2, dirty filter. Oh no, don't pull that out, sausage. All right, so you go back in there. You are on. Filter, 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 air filter. Um. No repair needed. There's a leak somewhere in your pot. I saw it just now there. Excessive internal pressure. You survived eight minutes and 10 seconds. That's actually not too bad. I still don't know how to fix the buzzer. Okay. Eight minutes, 10 seconds, that's the one to beat. Can we beat that? It's more challenging than I actually figured. I mean, we're starting to learn some of the codes, so that's actually getting easier. Um, can we just skip ahead of the um, whole things is broken part? You are good. You are good. Now, the question though is, how can I fix that filter cleaning? Page 18, let's start with that. Air filter takes sense resources, needs to be cleaned. Yeah, okay, that's great, but how do I clean it? Okay, so yeah, that is great. Uh, that's the repair station, airlock, fast battery charger. Oh, that one was fast. Ah, uh, okay. We still have a little bit of a way to go. All right, so here we have the fast battery charger. All right, so that is all good. Don't do that too often, buddy. Hold on. Really, Wilson? Oi. Oh, yeah, stop getting distracted. We need to fix something. Bad fuse. Who has a bad fuse? You?
the 24 repair parts. That's the ball. I found you. Yes. All right. To take you out, you go in. I cannot pull you apart. All right. That's okay. Um, you also serve no purpose. Um, do I have anything flying around then that I can take apart? You are full, so I do not want to destroy you. Don't even have a spare fuse. No batteries, no spare fuses. Well, it's going to be what it has to be then. I mean, it tells me that he has stuff flying around that we can use for repairing. Um, And I cannot open the beacon. Oh. You sausage. All right, where did I need it? Use. Here, please. You needed a fuse here somewhere. There we go. All right, now you are the broken one. Um, you can go in the one for the main lights. There we go. I mean, it's not great. Then again, if something breaks, there better be the main lights. We still have the emergency lights then, right? Alright, so that one is done. What else do we have? We have a bad monitor. Um... Alright, what other is yours? There we go. Oxygen is back up, so we fixed that. Bad monitor, dirty filter. Yes, but... Oh, really? That is how to fix it? Alright. Well, that one was easy then. Uh, atomic pile output limited... All right, so maybe we should then have a quick peek how we're doing here. Um, yeah, let's close you. Okay, now we did not bring any spare monitors, didn't we? Of course not, because that will be way too convenient. All right, uh, you are all looking fine and dandy. No errors on you. Okay, so we are 7 minutes and 40 seconds in so far. You go back up. Thank you. Temperature is kind of okay. Just have a bad fuse. That is okay. Yeah, that's okay. You are on battery. That was expected. You are good. And turn you off. The emergency lights stay on. You can be off for a moment. Eight minutes and 30 seconds. We're already better than in the last round. Yeah, there's no way we're going to get to that. I just will turn you off for now. The question is, how long is this going to take? Um, you can go off. Yeah, you have a bad monitor. I don't really have. Yeah, the repair station is offline. That is good, because I did that manually. Pressure is good. It's 
close you again. Just quickly checking. You are on battery, that is correct. And you just have a bad monitor. Dirty filter. There we go. And you're just on battery now. Nitrogen bottle. I don't even know if we have another nitrogen bottle. Fire extinguisher. Yes. Okay, so all of you are on battery. Um... Okay, so we're looking kind of okay here. I kind of need you on now. All right. So far, we still alive. Get you on so we can get you starting up. Let's not uh, do you off. All right, so you go off. All right, now how stupid can we be? Turn you off, off, off. Nothing yet. I think that's pretty much everything that I could have turned off. Yeah, it is. So we'll just... Get you back on. And definitely you back on. All right, 11 minutes, 41 seconds. Not too bad. Oxygen's good, CO2 is good. Pressure is good. Normal lights are back. Let's have a look, maybe your monitor is also broken. doesn't look like just looks like we don't have enough power yeah we still don't oh and it's getting cold in here oof it's getting real cold in here which is weird but okay okay uh you have liquid nitrogen you also have a large battery um, which is slowly starting to run out. Alright, so what's going to be a cause of death this time around? My money is going to be... Oh, logic components, large processors, data connectors, that's okay. Do you have a battery? Yes, you do, but yours is empty. Now, that's the one thing that we had a spare of. There we go. So it's just a repair station offline. Look at you. All right. Now, can we get you in there? Oof. It's taken a lot of the power, which means everything else is pretty much not functioning. But we do need it for a little. There we go, that is you. Okay. Uh, 
And now let's uh, charge the next battery. I mean, it doesn't need to be full full. There we go. That is you. You have the good battery, so we are all good. All right, now let's get a little bit of power in you. Now, I don't want to overdo them. Don't want to do too many of them at the same time. Because the bottom one, the pressure, we really need to get that one fixed as well. No errors on you, no errors on you. You just have a bad monitor, which means we are back in the clear, which is good. Asteroid field detected, collision is imminent. Bad fuse in your own battery. Um. There we go. All right, so let's leave the battery lying around there. Good. Okay, so we are about producing the amount that we need. You have no errors. You are good temperature wise. Look at this. All right, 15 minutes, 51 seconds. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. Liquid nitrogen bottle. Uh, there we go. There we have the asteroids coming in, which means we need to get you actually closed because we need to find ourselves a leak soon. At least, I assume that's going to give me the same rundown. There we go. Go. I hear a leak. There it is. There it is. Beautiful. Another leak. Where is you? Here. Okay, so the scrubber is good. The pressure is good. Which means we do not have another leak. Now we have... Alright, something banged. Something is not too good. You have a bad fuse, that's it. Alright. power connection no 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 don't electrocute yourself you idiot seriously how often does the system need to tell you turn it off all right here we have one of you no no no. I thought we had something at least. Um. Okay, so it is not this one. Then, is it a fuse? Yes, it is. Alright, so I will take you. That might kill me eventually. Oh, 
All right, so you is dead, but that's okay. You can go in there now. And please repair. Please do it faster, because I'm kind of going to need that. Thank you very much. How come you still have a bad power connection? Ah, uh, it's the power connector. All right, take you. All right, repair that. That's going to be expensive, though. 20 minutes already we're managing. Ah, I figured I was hearing something along the line. Turns out we have a hole somewhere. Uh, where is you? There you are. Thank you. What a noise. But pressure was still okay though. Um, you were in here, pretty pretty place. Yes. Yeah, but it's working on getting that fixed. There we go. All right, now you have a bad monitor, might as well get you in there. Oh, wow. Okay, so you are too expensive to fix. We'll just keep swapping around parts where and where needed. I did not even know that we had a gravity generator. Hey, so much for the tutorial telling us everything that we need to know. Uh, where is my rapid battery charger right there? All right, it's taking a long time, but... Oxygen's a little bit on the high side. Pressure a little bit low. Turn you off for a second. All right, that's enough, at least for now. Let's get you back in there. All right, so we've got the gravity thing sorted. Let's clean up a little bit again. Let's get everything back in its place. Um, low battery. No. Things are getting hot, I am aware. Cool it down, buddy. Cool it down. You're supposed to be cooling it down. Let's turn it off, turn it off. Okay, that should drop the temperature. So the heat producers turned off, you are on. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, it's a star detected. That is why it's hot. Hyperthermia. Okay, so I could have just used a liquid nitrogen bottle. All right. Well, I mean, 23 minutes, 47 seconds. I do not think that we did bad, so... um. That's it. Okay, guys. Now, that's going to be it uh, for Tin Can. Thank you so much for joining. I hope you have enjoyed it. And uh, if you want to try out this little game, there's about 35% discount right now on Steam. Can't give you the price of it because, of course, that is all depending on where 
you are located in the world. Okay, guys, thanks for joining, and I'll see you in the next one.